Good day viewers and subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Girls Connection, the world of connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also, click the notification bell to receive daily news updates locally and internationally. Keishan's autopsy is set for Wednesday amid continued family concerns. A post-mortem date has finally been set for dancehall entertainer Keyshawn, who was shot dead over a month ago in Old Harbor, St. Catherine. Her autopsy date is set for Wednesday, August 21, said Patricia Brown, Keyshawn's sister. A Thanksgiving service for the entertainer is scheduled for Sunday, September 8, at the Spring Village Seventh-day Adventist Church in St. Catherine. The Brown family had to wait more than a month to get an autopsy date. But at some point in the future, bereaved families may not have added burden of waiting months for autopsies to be conducted. Earlier this year, National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang promised that a state-of-the-heart autopsy suit is to be constructed soon to facilitate more efficient and effective operation by the island's six local forensic pathologists. Construction is slated to begin on the facility during the fiscal year and has been budgeted to cost some $200 million. The facility is expected to allow for an increase in the number of autopsies that can be performed and a consequent reduction in the waiting time for autopsy reports. Currently, the forensic pathology service is conducted throughout the island at private morgues and at hospitals which were not designed to provide medical legal autopsy services. Meanwhile, the Brown family is gearing up for a protracted legal battle to get justice for the loss of Kishan's life. Fitzroy Brown, father of the deceased entertainer, has indicated that he will be retaining the services of an attorney to ensure that a thorough investigation is conducted into the death of his daughter. The Old Harbor Police have not given us any good argument on the progress of the investigation. The investigating officer is a mister, and whenever I go there, I cannot get any information, so I am starting to believe that they are trying to sweep it under the carpet, the distraught father said. The dancehall artist died at the hands of her lover, a licensed firearm holder, who shot and killed her on July 20 during a reportedly violent dispute in Old Harbor, St. Catherine. Keyshawn, whose real name is Kenesha Brown, was also known for songs such as Bubbly Your Body, Kill or Die, and The Goods, all of which she recorded with incarcerated dancehall artist Vibes Cartel. Police personnel have been telling me that my daughter mashed up the man car, almost like them take side with him, like him have links with the police. All them do so far, I understand, is take his firearm and warn him for prosecution because I believe they feel the case will rule out as self-defense. But how him get stabbed three times and could still drive her to the hospital after him shoot her, the father asked. If you are a licensed firearm holder in a dispute with your woman, the first option cannot be to shoot her. I am going to make sure that Kishan gets justice, he added. As a regulatory body mandated to govern private firearm holders, in Jamaica, the Firearm License Authority, FLA, has taken a keen note on the number of reports and incidents of alleged domestic abuse involving licensed firearm holders over recent months. In a release on its website, the authority vowed to deal decisively and swiftly with those incidents of alleged abuse and said it will be taking a zero-tolerant approach. Additionally, the FLA said it will be writing to the Chief Justice to request a partnership with the Family Court in order to receive reports of any case before the court under the Domestic Violence Act, which involves licensed firearm holders. This is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Also, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you.